In this video, we're going to review the new tool of placing complex decks. So for that, we're going to create a new bridge. And this tool is only available when we create a cast in place concrete box. We select the bridge alignment. As it's done, then we're going to place just a tentative multiple supports. Uh, let's place three supports with a certain angle, so let's just do it something like that. All right, to make it easier, let's make a 180 link length standard. Uh, 180 length standard here. Good. So now, let's place now an advanced deck. So to we'll place as advanced deck, we just need to check uh, what is the material, what is going to be the feature definitions. So uh, let's place it from here to here only. Now, as we select the second boundary, right? Now here we're presented with the tools to do the advanced deck. Here, what we do is we select from what template we're going to select this advanced deck. So here we're going to go on a different type of view, a grid view, maybe easier to understand, at least for me. And then I'm going to define the distance from support line to support line. All right, so let's take a look at the first support line. And then I can say the mode is support line, not ratio, not by a station. From support line one, um, one to go, maybe it was a total 180. So maybe let's see, I want to go uh, 100 feet first. So I'm going to go 100. Right, from zero and then uh, another one here so then this will be from an interval length of 100 right so the first 100 will be one template and the other 80 feet will be another template and here I just select what template I want to use So let's exaggerate a little bit. So I want to make it this, for example, a uh, two cell, right? And then this one, the last one, I want to make it uh, three cells. Right? So as a switch, right, the template here, we will have the two cell, right? And the other one will be the three cell one right so basically on the same span with the same deck uh, I will have two different sections one using the two cell and the other one using the three cell and if I have more spans to take care of so then I can add other options too also I got the option not only to change the sections itself but also to add diaphragms and on diaphragms on these sections uh, will go the same one so I can say that at the beginning I can go uh, maybe from a relative location of zero to a start distance and maybe at a different location here so maybe 10 feet I will have a diaphragm here at the end Right? and with a fixed length and it's normal to alignment so and there are other options of course or maybe from the support line so from the support line at a distance of zero right from support line and then also here I can go from support zero at the first 10 feet right and then uh, on the other 10 feet here I can have maybe another one or just also delete it It's not confusing. So here, from support line, relative location of zero, the first 10 feet, I will have a diaphragm. Right for the first cell here. Uh, saying that, I will just hit OK. Then we'll see what the software will assemble. See the change, right? And then also, it's on so very close now. I have. 
the cell itself right and look you see that part that is solid that was from support line the first 10 feet were treated as a diaphragm so there is no cell per se and then on the section here at a certain distance it changed for a two cell to a four cell one so now it will be a matter now to maybe realign the decks so to make a match uh, but that is an option for another video but this is how we can change different deck sections on the same span using the place advancement tech definition thank you